Hey guys, welcome to the laundromat. Our washing machine's got like fluff stuck in the back of it, right down the bottom where the hose extracts the water into the tub. I couldn't be asked pulling it apart and fixing it because of everything that's wrong with anus at the moment. I'll come over here because it's a bit loud. Yeah, with everything that's wrong with anus at the moment, so yeah. It's four dollars a load. Look at that shit. Expensive as hell. But yeah, I'll pay twelve dollars to get our washing done. So one's towels, and then as the other two is just mixed for the three of us. A um, few things today. I'll get to the anus part later on once I leave here, so that you can hear properly. But yeah, a few things today. This came in the mail for little Athena. <laughs> it's this little Adidas top for winter when she gets a little bit bigger, which is pretty damn cool if you ask me. And my license arrived. You know how I was saying the other day that it's going to be like bushy beard type deal? Look at that photo. Is that a mug shot or what? Good God. Anyway, I'm stuck in here for half an hour and I'm just reading tweets and all the other stuff and looking at comments on videos. I just want to say thank you so much for everybody that's wishing anus to like get better and stuff. Yeah, I'll pass it on as soon as I can, but at the moment, because of all the drugs in the system, she's not actually coherent much. <laughs> but yeah, I will pass it on, so keep the good wishes coming. Yeah, they're helpful, trust me. Shut up. Poor girl. That is how you be an asshole. You put a trolley right in the middle of Frickin' where people drive. <laughs> yes, look, it is night time. I didn't vlog. <laughs> My first week back to Melbourne and I haven't done anything for you guys at all. I haven't been anywhere, I haven't had a chance to do anything. And now with anus, we're just going back and forth between the hospital and you just get no vlog at all. I am so, so sorry. Ooh, blurry Sydney Road, I am so artistic. Ooh, artsy fartsy. Yeah, I really am sorry about the vlog. It's just out of my control at the moment. I can't even control the timing of when I pull the camera out either because there's so many people at the hospital and of course Anus doesn't want to be shown in the state that she is because yeah, she's just bent over in pain this morning when I went and visited her and I just came from visiting her then. I just, yeah, I stayed with her for like three hours or so. The nurses were very nice. They let me stay an hour past visiting hours because yeah, and um, and it's doing a lot better. Let's give you an update. They um, did a, a micro operation on her today. Um, they put a tube down her throat and she had gallstones that had perforated the gallbladder and were bouncing around in between her pancreas and her liver. So yeah, they had to go in. That was her major pain at the moment and it was inflaming everything. And when everything's inflamed, they can't take the gallbladder out because everything is so close to each other in that region. So. Um, yeah, they went in with the throat and did some trickery and pulled out like so I don't even know how many gallstones a lot and um, Yeah, they got rid of that pain that was there and now she's just got a dull ache from um, Yeah, just basically what everything else is wrong with her <laughs> So at the moment she was supposed to get a hospital on Tuesday, but uh, they're predicting at least Thursday now So it's gonna be in there for over a week and all the staff so far have been magnificent. I know I've probably said this however many times, but magnificent. And she's had the same doctor. I was there right then, and he, the doctor, came around with two of his interns and checked up on her just to see if she was okay. And seriously, it's not even his job. My sister's in a different ward now. She's in a recovery ward and he's like on the other end of the hospital and he trekked up just to see her to make sure she was feeling okay and just to check on her and all that other stuff so for a public hospital where they're just supposed to give you any doctor at any given moment he's treated her like a private patient because he's taken it upon himself to make her his patient so it's just fantastic and i'm rambling anyway it is 10 to 10 I'm gonna go home. I just went shopping and bought dinner and stuff. So I'm gonna go home and cook mum dinner and <sighs> so yeah. Because <laughs> we've only got the one car here at the moment because Buttercup's still back in um, at my grandparents. Um, so yeah, we've only got the one car here. So I took the car halfway and then trammed the other half 
And so yeah, mum's been home with the beaner all this time, no, all this afternoon, this evening. I don't even know what time it is. As, oh, 10 to 10, I just said that. Derp. I'm out of it. Anyway, yeah, I'm gonna go home and cook a lovely, lovely dinner in record time and eat the shit out of it.